Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the hard drive on the PS4. So I got a PS4 with 500 gig and um, I would like to add more space on it. It's very simple and easy to do that. So what you need to do is um, you need to get yourself a hard drive. I've got one um, 2TB, this is a 2 terabyte. It was an exter external hard drive but um, I um, opened from the box and uh, and came up with this <clears throat> so basically this is the the case of the hard drive that I had <coughs> is a Seagat uh, hard drive and um, after that you need your hard drive you need a USB up to uh, 1 gig this my one is 8 but it has to be more than 1 gig and uh, what you well, you need is screwdrivers. That's what you need. So um, to start off, <coughs> this is your PS4, and uh, what you need to do is take off this um, this panel here on the side. <coughs> That's it. Panel is off. <coughs> As you see, this is where the hard drive is um, is fit in. <coughs> Just grab your screwdriver. So make sure you don't lose your screws. Just slide this out, and now you can see now that's the the PS4 hard drive. Just unscrew everything on the right and left. <coughs> Just get a small screwdriver. <coughs> <coughs> And this is my first time doing this as well, so <clears throat> uh, as you see that's the hard drive of the PS4 and this is 500 gigs, so I'm gonna leave this on the side and I'm gonna put in the new one. <clears throat> Just make sure you save all your game saving before you repla replace your hard drive. Alright, and then what you need to do is just slide this in again. That's it. Put the screw on top. <clears throat> and we are good to plug this in now. <clears throat> I'm not gonna um, put the top yet. The cover yet, so I want to see what's going on first. <clears throat> this one, that's T. I'm gonna plug in the Ethernet cable as well. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the uh, firmware um, update for um, the um, PS4. Okay, so um, this is the way when you go to download the firmware update for PS PS4. There are two types of downloads. Like, you don't need to download this one here. It says download update because this is like 200 something megabyte of file and that's, that's not good. So, um, to get started first, what, we, what you need to do, you need to scroll all the way down. I'm going to put the link in the description. And you have two methods of um, doing this. So, when you scroll down, you're going to see this, and it says download now. If you download this, it's like 200 megabyte, but this is not good to us, because we need to do a new installation of the system software. So, that's the one there. So, first of all, what you need to do is, you need to plug in your USB, 
and you need to form if you are on Windows you need to format this on FAT32 um, if you are on Mac you don't get that option to do so what you do is say erase and uh, you're gonna choose EX fat, fat sorry so just do that and um, just wait for it to be done and after this is done what you need to do is you need to go inside the USB and um, and not do what I did because that's wrong <laughs> okay let me put back the USB again it's very simple to do this so after you USB is in you have to create a folder called PS4 in caps PS4 inside this folder create another folder in caps update inside update you're gonna drag in the PS4 update dot pup, which is say where, where it says download. You just click download, then it's gonna download. In my case, I downloaded mine. It's uh, 853 megabyte. As you see, it has to be more than uh, 200, because the the other one is 200. So they're not good. So just drag this and drop in there <coughs> inside the update folder. And just wait for it to be copied. Okay, so the <clears throat> the copy is done. What we need to do is eject um, this um, flash drive, and then um, I will um, switch back to how to uh, install the firmware on your PS4. So um, after you've done the USB, what you need to do is connect your um, your um, controller with the USB on your PS4 and then just plug in your USB in it <clears throat> and then hold the, hold, um, the power button till it beeps twice that's it and then just wait for the screen to load Okay, so turn on the. Okay, so you have uh, seven options. You're gonna have to go to option seven, and just uh, it, it, it asks you to connect the USB. So make sure USB is plugged in. You say okay. As you see, we're on uh, safe mode now, so we can do whatever we want with it. All right. So as you see now, um, <clears throat> it loaded up, and it says. Uh, are you sure you want to do this? You say yes, of course, and then just let it do its own thing, you know? It's just going to install the software in it. So there you have it, guys. Um, after this, the um, PS4 will restart, and I think that's it. That's done. You get 2TB. Um, I put 2TB on mine. So yeah, that's the old hard drive, and uh, this is um, 500 gig, I don't know if you can see this, but this is 500 gig, and the one I put in is 2 TB, that's pretty pretty good size, you know, for gaming, especially if you um, download them online. Alright, I'm going to come back after this is done, and I'm going to explain to you, and show you the space that I put on as well okay so now it's done the setup is done guys i'm gonna show you um the storage that I put on there so you go to the settings keep going down till you find the uh, storage system management and there you have it that's 1.77 tb <clears throat> so that's nearly 2 tb the system takes uh, a few um a bit of storage as well so yeah thanks for watching guys